really like the toaster house. It's kind of a, like an old school hiking place. Nowadays, a lot of through hiking hostels and whatnot are run primarily as businesses. And that's fine, you know, especially with so many hikers. You kind of need to have a system and need to be making money or you just can't sustain thousands of hikers. CDT is still small enough that a pie house can uh, operate. And the story is Nita, the woman that owns it, she raised her family there. The kids grew up there and then she uh, just allowed hikers and bikers and anyone else passing through town to stay at the pie house for free. So it's been a thing on the CDT for years and years. Um, and she hasn't even lived in that house for, I don't know, the last decade. And she would just leave it open and let whoever's coming by stay there, use the facilities. And now, um, that was Jefferson. He's her cousin. He kind of stays there and takes care of the place and takes care of hikers and yeah, it's just pretty cool, all donation based. You know, very trusting of strangers. And for the most part, haven't had any issues. And now the road, just walking this straight south of Pie Town, it's about 150, 60 miles to Silver City. But there'd be one small little pit stop in there. Uh, the southern end of the Gila Dot Campbell's trading post with some hot springs. This cow is just like, drooling. Are you sick, buddy? Some more snow up here. Not very much. At about 9,500 feet. Should go away pretty quick. This is called an alligator juniper. Got some trail magic from some hunters, some beer. So that was very nice of them. Um, yeah, other than that, pretty boring day. Just hiking on dirt roads. Um, just crossed, I forget what the highway is, but it's a highway that goes into Reserve, little town of Reserve in New Mexico. And trail here. But uh, it'll be back to dirt roads in, I don't know, 10 miles or so. I'm gonna go up and over. It's about 1,800 feet. Last big climb. One of the last big climbs on the CDT. This is the north face of the Wagon Tongue Mountain. At 9,000 feet right now. It's a little bit icy. Should be alright. It's a javelina or a boar. <laughs> and it is coming towards me. What are you doing, buddy? Look at his nose. Let's see what happens when I walk to it. <laughs> Oh, there's a bunch of them over here. Huh. 
very close. I'm on the Gila alternate now. It's like 20 something miles of these dirt roads and then I will drop into the middle fork of the uh, Gila River. And actually I'll, I'm gonna take the high route because it's pretty cold and wading through a river does not sound fun right now. But if the water is not too cold and not too, uh, too high, can take a look at going through some of the lower because it is really cool down there. I did the low route the whole way last year and it's honestly one of the coolest places on the trail. It's very unique because you're just walking through the bottom of a river canyon and uh, yeah, not a lot of places you can do that. Wow, look at all these elk. This is so many elk. Oh my god, they're still coming. That's like over a hundred elk. That's crazy. I've never seen a herd that big. Buddy. It's been snowing just a tiny bit, like barely a bunch of crystals, but it looks like off in the distance towards the direction, towards the Gila, um, more precipitation is coming down. Oh, and also, this is Thanksgiving today, so this will be my second Thanksgiving that I have spent on the trail. And of course, being the end of November, it's always really cold and there's nobody around. <laughs> Ooh, that looks pretty nasty there. Thankfully the wind is blowing that direction. That's to the southeast. This is to the north, so, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna drop down the road down in here, and that little stream will feed into the Gila. And just follow it all the way down, like another, what, 50 miles? The water coming through this time is way higher than uh, when I came through last year. Uh, the Gila actually flooded really bad about a month ago. Um, I think mostly the water has receded down to a little bit above what it should be this time of year, but with this snow right now and uh, yeah, the water's definitely being higher. I'm definitely gonna take the high route. Not gonna walk through knee, waist deep water in a river when it's snowing outside. 
This is like mini Gila right now. I'm gonna cross this a couple times. This is not the most fun, but at least it's snow and it's not uh, freezing rain. Could be much worse. This is Snow Lake behind me. I'm gonna take the lower Gila route. Just go straight through the lake or around the lake and then it goes right down into the uh, Gila River Canyon, but I'm taking the high route, so follow this road for a bit. It'll cross up and um, I don't know over the Gila, go down through it. So we go through it a couple times, but not the not like the low route, where I think the low route you'll cross the river a couple hundred times. Um, and yeah, I did that last year. It's a really cool route, really beautiful but uh, it's too cold right now to be wading through a river. And you go so much slower and there's a bunch of thorns. And I guess this year there's that big flood. So um, a lot of the trail down there is washed out and just have random piles of like logs and flood debris that blocks your path. So uh, we'll see what the high route looks like. The high route is also supposed to be beautiful, but I don't think it probably compares to the beauty of the low route. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> it's about 8,200 feet right now. I'm gonna drop down middle fork, uh, somewhere in there, about 7,000 feet. So this is the only spot where the high route crosses the low route down there. So the low route just follows the river and you pretty much have to walk through it. This is, uh, yeah, it's much more beautiful on the low route, but too cold. Really cool little cave people camp in. Yep, gotta make this crossing. Um, I don't think there's any dry way to do it. Yep, I stole. That's what you want at the end of a day when it's been snowing um, to get your feet completely soaked. <laughs> but I think that'll be the only river crossing I need to make. And then continue up on the high route, climb up this other side of this canyon. Uh, but yeah, you're taking the low route. It's like that every five minutes. You're just crossing the river. It's worth it though. Um, you know, during normal times, not when it's the end of November. Hard to believe that this is New Mexico. So you think desert, you're not thinking about these nine, 10,000 foot tall mountains. Here's a creepy old cabin. Too bad it is locked. That'd be a nice warm place to stay. A little mouse. Here's my Thanksgiving dinner. Saved a fancy dehydrated meal. Have some Snickers, peanut butter, cheese. Holidays on trail can be hard. Um, I mean, it's 
just any other day, but you know, Thanksgiving there's the expectation of being with family and having food and all that stuff and I haven't seen a single person for like two days now. Um, it's really cold today. It barely got above freezing all day and now I'm just eating like the last of my food that I have. Um, yeah, not the most uh, exciting Thanksgiving meal and it, you know it's just any other day but it's the expectations of the holiday that make it um, harder uh, but you know what are you gonna do so just gonna enjoy my meal and crawl into the bag and get warm the new shoes would be frozen so I tried to Put them in such a way that they'd freeze <laughs> with a wide opening. Because I just didn't want to sleep with them in my sleeping bag last night. <sighs> well, this will probably take a couple minutes to get on. Pretty cold this morning and last night. I think there must have been a cold front with that snow. Probably feels like it's in the teens right now. We could get to some hot springs today. And then Silver City in the real town tomorrow. And Silver City will be the second to last town. And then I'm finished. Check it out. So this is all the condensation formed on the inside of the tent. It froze. <laughs> and then shaking it out. Well, that's quite a bit. It's a pretty big alligator juniper. It's pretty spectacular. So the lower route, you just go right along the bottom. You see all these crazy rock formations. alien looking place. It's really wild. This has got to be one of the top campsites on the whole CDT. Let's check this out. You cowboy camp right here. Long fall.
such an amazing place. It's like if you combine the Grand Canyon and then Zion National Park and then took away all of the people, that would be what the Gila is like. Coming up on Doc Campbell's trading post. Get a quick resupply there, charge my batteries a little bit, and keep heading down this road. From here, you can take the river again, it's a low route, or you can take the road. Um, took the river last year, it was terrible. Like, the trail is way worse than even the lower Gila up north. Um, yeah, like no trail, not nearly as pretty, and just a real pain in the butt. So, uh, I'll take the road today, or this time, so I don't want to deal with any of that. I'm gonna 